To graph the inequality, the first thing we're gonna do is get the y by itself. So if I wanna get the y by itself, I'm gonna add over the x squared. And then this looks like a quadratic, x to the second power. We are going to pretend for a moment that there's no inequality symbol. We're just going to make it an equal sign and we're gonna graph the parabola and at the very end, we'll decide whether or not to make the parabola dashed or solid line and where to shade. But let's go ahead and graph the parabola. The most important point on a parabola is the vertex. So I'm gonna use the formula for the vertex. So let's just make all the pieces stand up, out. One is A, zero axis, so B is zero, and then C is negative three. Our formula for a vertex is negative B over 2A. So let's replace the B with zero and the A with one. And then let's simplify. Negative zero is zero. Zero divided by anything is zero. And zero, so I get zero there. Okay, then as soon as I know the X coordinate, I'm gonna take that number and substitute it into my equation. So I'm going to take zero, making a t-chart here, substituting zero in there. So I have zero squared minus three and zero squared minus three is negative three. So we just found the first point there, which is my vertex. I'm going to need a couple more points to graph. Um, because your graph paper is only so large, you want to make sure the X's that you select are close to the number that you got here. So some numbers that are close to zero are one and two. So getting just a couple more points, I'm going to substitute in, let's say one and two. All right, if I substitute one, one squared minus three is negative two. Substitute in two, two squared minus three is one. So I've got a couple more points. So let's put on our graph what we have so far. All right, so this point here, okay, write zero down three, one, two, three. Okay, then one comma negative two, write one down two. And then two comma one, write two up one. It's a parabola, so I can use some symmetry to get a few more points. So I'm gonna take this point here and use that symmetry. Oops. That mad me. That one there. I'm gonna have too many parabolas here. Okay, so then I'm going to draw in a parabola, but notice that when I go to draw in this parabola, I'm making the parabola a dashed line. And the reason why it's dashed is because my inequality symbol does not have an underline. So if it's underlined, you're gonna draw it in with a solid line, but if it is not underlined, you're gonna draw it in as a dashed line. And the meaning of that is, right now, the points that are on the parabola do not make this true, which is why it's dashed. And if it was or equal to, it'd be solid because in that case, the points on the parabola would make it true. Okay, the last step is to figure out where I need to shade. So when you go to shade, you're either gonna shade, if you kind of picture putting ink on this parabola, if I put a whole bunch of ink on this parabola and I dragged it down, it would make smudges here. Or if I put a whole bunch of ink on this parabola and I moved it up, it'd smudge on the inside. So we're either gonna shade on the outside of the parabola or on the inside of the parabola and those are the points that make this inequality true. 
So to make the decision, it's all or nothing. Either all the points on the inside of the problem make it true or none of them. So I'm just gonna pick any coordinate. The easiest one when it's available to me is zero, zero. So I'm gonna pick zero, zero to test that out. So if I substitute zero, zero into my inequality, so let's put in zero and zero. So zero for the X, zero for the Y. Zero squared minus three is negative three. Now if we're deciding is that true or false, so is zero less than negative three? That is not true. So the point zero, zero, this point right here, does not make this true. So zero, zero should not be in the shaded. So if it's not in the shaded, that means that we are gonna shade this way. Okay, so you just test a single point, pick any point you want. I could have picked, you know, one, two, three, four, comma, negative two, and plugged in four and negative two. And if I did that, it'd make a true statement. So that point would be included, so I'd shade to include the point. So just by default, if it works, then include the point, and if it doesn't work, do not include the point.